So I had a guy the other day, I told him I said I could make a flight controller and the guy's like, yeah, right. Guys, it's not that hard. If you've got somebody that's done all the work for you and the code's available, okay? So it's real simple. You download the files from whatever GitHub repository is offering the files. And there's companies out there you can buy space on their like four foot by four foot uh, PCB and they will print out as many boards as you want, okay? I've done many projects. So you get your, your board based on a file that's offered to you uh, by somebody that's done the work. Now I'm not saying I could design a flight controller, I'm just saying I can build a flight controller. And I've built several of them. I've built them in black and blue and purple. Anyhow, so the way it works is you get your PCB and it's empty like this, okay? And you need to get a list of components and then you order them from a company like DigiKey, for example, and they'll come in these little bags, okay? And normally they're on the long strip with little holes in them. They're designed for a pick and place machine that advances it on a little cog and it pulls and places the components on the board. Well, if you're like me, you would take your all your components and lay them out on you know, a sheet of paper on notebook, tape them down so that you can get them with your tweezers easily, okay? And you know what you're grabbing, right? So you take your PCB board and you put it on a jig and you order a stencil from say like OSH stencils or something like this. This is just a piece of like Kapton tape. So you'd, what you do is you take a piece of tape and you hold this on the side after it's lined up on the... Uh, on the pads correctly, okay? And then you're gonna take some stuff called solder paste. Chip Quick makes it, it's really cool stuff. Basically, it's this gray flux paste that's got micro solder balls. These little balls of solder are put into a flux paste and you just use something like this and you squeegee it on and you pull your stencil back and then all of your gold contacts will be built up with Chip Quick which is solder paste. Then real carefully, you take your tweezers and you place each component on that paste. And they're gonna hold in place, right? Be real careful when you're setting them down, right? And then you stick them in the oven and basically the flux inside the solder paste will draw the components over to the pads. Well, I've had situations where they didn't go and I've had to lift them up and stuff like that, but Basically, this board here, had your, your processor had a minimum OSD chip on it, had a CAN bus. You know, CAN bus, if you don't know what uh, CAN H is, you might want to research it. It's uh, pretty interesting in how PID controllers work. But then we used to use these little servo leads. You know, then you solder up your servo leads for your outputs for your receiver and your motors and stuff like that. And you're in the game. Right, so building a flight controller is not that hard once somebody's done all the work. There's a barometer right over there. You know, just, guys, I know it seems like it's beyond the scope of your capability, but if someone would make their circuit files open source like this guy did, I think it was called Building Crash. He had a something called Tau Labs or something like that. He did exactly that. He made his file uh, available to open source. I sent out, had some circuit boards printed, and I was making flight controllers. This was eight or nine years ago, guys, right? And uh, so the KISS project's amazing, and I'm glad that uh, Alex is building all these awesome flight controllers for us to fly, because they're fantastic. And uh, his code is amazing, and it's I'm just happy to support them. But just wanted to show these guys that it is possible to build your own flight controller at home. It's not a big deal. I know it seems like this uh, huge endeavor, but if you do the research and you have access to the files and the code, you can build a flight controller. All right, take care guys.